Okay, so I know I'm making this video a bit late as we're obviously already mostly halfway through October. I think it is October 19th as I make this video, but I wanted to make it anyway because we still have at least a month left in my opinion. I consider the end of fall to be pretty much right after Thanksgiving, Black Friday for those of you who do Black Friday. Um, so I think that's still plenty of time to get in some fall gaming. I'm still going to be trying to finish my goals of fall gaming over the next month. Uh, so I just wanted to share which games um, I really like, especially for other cozy gamers out there. Um, people who are new like I was last year. There's so many videos, there's so much content, but I feel like my personality, I like the games. I'm like the seasonal person. I like to hang up all the seasonal things. So I want my games to match kind of the seasons. So. I thought it would really be fun um, to give you a few games that I'm enjoying this fall um, that maybe you will too. Um, so I'm going to do six games that I think are perfect for this time of year. Some you might have seen on other lists, at least one that I think you probably have not seen on other lists, at least fall cozy gaming lists. Um, yeah, that I think you should check out. Starting with, and I'm going to be ranking them um and giving my top two not necessarily they're the best but the two that i'm wanting to finish and are kind of my favorites at the moment um so the first game for me is called the wild at heart um, this game was developed by moonlight kids in 2021 um, it's an open world exploration game where you follow this kid named wake who seems to be like a, a runaway you start with him the story begins with him running away from home um, into these woods and he's supposed to be meeting a friend but the friend just kind of doesn't meet him and he happens upon this little creature called a spritling who takes him into this magical wood um, where we have these wizards these creatures it's really a super cute game um, but it's also very mysterious like you're kind of wondering what's going on with this kid why is he running away? You see some dreams um, every a few times. Usually when the story is progressing and he's having dreams, you kind of get to see uh, some of his backstory or the way he's interacting with his dad, I think. Um, and eventually you do find his friend, who's this little black girl, I must say, black girl <laughs> named Kirby, which I loved. Um, she's this tiny little girl um, who helps you progress the story because she can do things that he can't. So it's really a cute game that I think you should check out if you have not already. Um, it's definitely a puzzle game. You're trying to figure out how to get from one place to the next. You're trying to figure out how to capture, not capture, but rescue or find these uh, kind of wizard-like creatures who have left um, to complete these missions. Uh, Halloween aside, I would say this is definitely giving you all the cozy feels, definitely all the, you're in the woods for the entire game, so you know, you have all the oranges and greens of the woods, definitely some more spooky areas, um, definitely at night when the never comes out, um, it gets a little scarier, so the Halloween feels, um, definitely a cute cozy game. One of my favorite parts about the game is the music, it's very comforting probably even more i'm definitely a stardew valley and animal crossing fan i think i like the music in this game even more so check it out if you like the gaming music this game has a 9 out of 10 on steam and a 7.4 from ign and it's available on windows mac xbox nintendo switch and playstation so please check that one out number two luigi's mansion i'm gonna start by saying i did not play the previous luigi's mansions although i grew up gaming I just recently got heavy back into it outside of PlayStation um, because, I don't know, cozy gaming attracted me. Um, so I didn't play the other ones, but I feel like everyone says this is the best one, so I didn't feel like I needed to go back and play those two. So I started with this one. This game was developed by Nintendo in 2019, and it seems, from what I can find, to only be available on the Nintendo Switch. So if you don't have one, unfortunately, I don't think you can play this one. Uh, this round, Luigi and the entire gang get invited to this uh, what's supposed to be a luxury hotel. It's like 13 stories or 15 stories or something and it's super fancy and they go in and it's like obviously a charade to the audience but not to them. Um, and so Luigi goes to take a nap while the, everyone goes to their rooms. He wakes up from his nap and he finds that 
it's deserted and now it's haunted and everything all the luxury you saw before has been pulled away and you see this haunted hotel um this game is definitely more to geared towards the halloween end of fall not necessarily the fall fall you know you've got spiders and mice and pumpkins and all of the kind of eerie but very cutesy uh music really fun game um, i definitely think this is more for completionists like myself um, sometimes i get so completionist that i have too many games because i'm trying to collect all the things um this is, has all those collectible type things different gems and things that you can collect so if you're into that this is definitely one of those games for you um this game has an 8.3 from ign and again it's only available on nintendo switch as far as i can tell number three the last campfire this is an adventure puzzle game it was developed by hello games and released in 2020 this is the story of a lost soul named ember who is trapped in a puzzling kind of place definitely another wooden area similar to the wild at heart but very different games um, this is a single player game and it's an environmental puzzle game meaning you're having to learn how to use different abilities and magic to move the world around you so that you can um, solve puzzles to rescue other characters and help them find their way. Um, this game is probably in my opinion the most visually beautiful stunning game. Um, also has very very comforting music um, similar to Wild at Heart. Not similar music but just very comforting music. Um, definitely one to check out. I think this is one I like to play at night like right before getting ready to go to bed or something because it's super cozy super relaxing um no like nothing to fight no ghosts or anything you're really just quietly going around you know searching for these little lost souls and it's very very comforting uh this game has a 10 out of 10 rating on steam it is really that good and a 9 out of 10 on ign and if you haven't played it i recommend that you check it out i think it's like 15 dollars. it's available on pc nintendo PlayStation, Xbox, and the Apple Arcade. Game number four, Be Cozy Grove, which is the one I feel like is on everybody's cozy game list um, because it is a cozy game. Um, it's number four for me because I feel like it's not as fun, I guess. <laughs> it's fun, but it's not as interesting, I guess, to me as the, the other three before this one. Um, a lot of people compare this game to Stardew Valley and Animal Farm, or at least they say that you will like it uh, if you like those two. I really don't think that they're very similar at all. Um, I think it's more similar, if anything, to The Wild at Heart, I would say, where you're just, you know, you, you get, you land on this island and you start meeting these creatures and you're, again, tasked with completing these missions. Um, collecting things all of those things to help complete these missions so like I said a little bit more like in my opinion similar to the wild at heart not Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing I said Animal Farm oh goodness Animal Crossing um, so yeah you play as a spirit scout who has landed on this island and you're trying to save these ghosts or bring them back to you know uh to soothe them and help them find their way um you start in this kind of very dim black and white looking aesthetic and what's really cool about the game is that each time you complete the tasks or quests the game it starts to come to life the island comes to life the ghosts come to life um you get to see this world wake up and that's really the best part about the game that part is very cool still a good game fourth on the list though not as fun as the other games in my opinion this has a 9 out of 10 on Steam and is also available on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and Windows. Number 5 is where I got very conflicted. I didn't know which way I wanted to go with it, so that is why there are 6 games on this list. Um, the first, it's actually the second of the two that's my favorite, but I'm going to tell you the first of the two, which I feel like is on a lot of lists. It's called Night in the Woods. It's a very cool game. The reason that it's more towards the bottom of the list is because it can be a little bit more 
deep and I know not everyone is always into that especially if you're gaming to release and not necessarily to connect to something um, then you might not want to get into a game that's like this game is very heavy uh, into like mental health and dyna family dynamics and things like that friend dynamics um, so it's a little bit heavier than most of the other games on the list so that's why I was conflicted on this one it's still a great game um, this one you follow a woman really a cat named may who has uh, dropped out of college and moved back home and it kind of has this interesting storyline at the beginning where her parents didn't pick her up because they thought it was a different day and it's already kind of like a little sad and um, seeing her reconnect with her friends and family in this town this kind of even the town is a little sad like i think it was a mining town but the mines are no longer open so it's one of those kind of towns where factory shut down and things and seeing how people are coping with the change um, so again lots of mental health um topics family dynamics friend dynamics all of those things very good game definitely a fall game uh the game was developed and released in 2017 by a company called infinite falls so i mean come on this has a 9 out of 10 on steam and an 8.7 from ign it's available on switch playstation xbox and ios as well as windows if i didn't say that now this high for number five is a game the game i feel like isn't going to be on most lists because i don't know if you would consider this a cozy game I consider it a cozy game. I love the game. Um, so I thought I would put it on here. This game is called The Lost, sorry, not the, it's called Lost in Random. Lost in Random, immediately just watching the trailer, you would think of The Nightmare Before Christmas. It seems like it's the same creators. It's not, but it gives you all of those same feels as watching that movie, which is a fall Christmas Halloween movie right um, so you play as a little girl named Eden who is searching for her sister whose name odd like come on it's cute 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 and they are they live in this kingdom called random the kingdom of random and so odd has been kidnapped by the queen of random because once you turn a certain age I want to say it's 12 you roll a dice I think and you, you know, you get separated into what your factions or something like that would be. I guess that's more of a divergent thing. But anyway, so her sister's been taken by the queen and even is trying to, to get her sister back. So you go on this journey with her to rescue her sister. Um, on that journey, obviously you meet all kinds of crazy characters. You do some combat. Um, you meet your little friend named Dicey, who is actually a dice that you roll. Um, so anybody that's into like a D and D or card games is really gonna like this game. I think um, everything is about the roll of a dice, right? Lost in random. Um, there's cards that have abilities, so when you're in combat, you can choose one of the cards that you have found <laughs> um, to use that ability. Um, so this is really more an interesting game, different from all the other ones on the list, uh, but definitely more cozy fall definitely Halloween um, related. So I think it's worth checking out personally. Um, this one has a nine out of 10 from Steam and an eight out of 10 from IGN. It's available on Switch, Windows, PlayStation, and Xbox. So that's really most of my list. Other than those games, I plan on playing Fae Farm, still hitting Fae Farm hard, and I still have not finished Hogwarts Legacy. So I'm going to keep working on that one, but the big two I'm trying to finish by the end of fall, Wild at Heart and Luigi's Mansion 3 because I should have really finished both of those games by now. So that's my goal in the next month to finish those two games. Hopefully this list was helpful for some of you. Hopefully you check out some of the games if you have not played them already. All right, thanks for watching my channel.